Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at issues 11, 12, 13, and 14 of the Imperium magazine. And here we go, here's the fourth delivery of the Imperium subscription and some great models included in this package. And also, because I subscribe right from the beginning, I also get this paintbrush set delivered with it. So if you order right from the start, you get some bonus goodies along the way and the paintbrush set is one of them. So in this video, we'll go through each of the issues, we'll have a look at the contents, go through the magazine, and then at the end, I'll get the models built so we can see them all put together. And here we go, here's the three brushes that you get as part of the subscription. And so you get the shade, the layer and the base. And the shade is a medium, the layer is a medium and the base is a large. So these are the Citadel brushes that you'd buy separately so you don't get cheaper alternatives. And here's issue 11, and this is a great one. You get a really awesome miniature in here, the Librarian in Phobos Armour, the Primaris Librarian. I was really looking forward to this one. You also get another brush. You get a dry brush, which is the medium size, just focusing on that. And so again, the same quality that you would buy separately. So that's nice. This is really great value for 8 99 You get that model. The base it comes on is a 40 mil, and here's the sprue for it. Let's have a close-up look and I'll just focus on it so you can see some of the detail. Again, I'm gonna get this built later on so you can have a proper look, but it's good to see it on the sprue and exactly how it comes in the pack. And this is the one that you would buy separately again. So for 8 99 I don't think you can go wrong here. You get an awesome miniature and a brush to boot. And now let's have a look at the magazine. We're gonna learn about the Librarius in here. Look at the miniature we've seen. Again, 8 99 great price there. And so here we are. This is my favourite part of these magazines. I love that seeing all the different details and learning about the weapons and the armour. And then we've got a little record here that we can keep so we can put the name and even look at the different powers and psychic abilities they have. And then we get lots of lore here in the reading section for all different parts. And you put this together in the folder then to keep it all in order. A how to build guide, excellent as always, high detail, lots of great images, really impressed with these. And then if you wanted to paint it in the traditional way, it tells you how to do that with the paints you've received so far in the collection. And so as the more paints come in the collection, you start adding more and more to your models and build it up. But I'm doing mine in a grimdark style, which I'll do a video of soon. I've been practicing on it just yesterday. So looking forward to getting that video out. And then we get the playthrough and here's the psychic assault. So now we're gonna to start to learn some new rules for the psychic ability. So this is really interesting. We're gonna see the librarian going up against the royal warden and the canoptic scarab swarm. So this should be really interesting to play through. And you'll see all this featured on the channel real soon as I'm starting to get these painted now. I'll start featuring all these playthroughs in separate videos in a how to play Warhammer 40,000 guide. Then on the back, we see the next two issues that we're gonna get, which are some paints and some more space marines. And here we can see issue 12 now. So in here, we get three paints. So the paints are probably the least value of any of these sets. Sometimes you can lose money. Someone commented that from issue 20 onwards, you're only gonna get two pots of paint. So you're definitely gonna not have some value there. But with three, you pretty much can break even. But when you total up the full amount of this whole collection, it's definitely worth it um, money-wise. You know, So even though one for eight ninety nine only gives you three paints, when you combine all the issues, you do save a lot of money. So here we're gonna learn about the Necrons. We can name their weapons and war gear. Again, lots of reading now, so we're really starting to build up on the lore and the background. We're learning about the planets and all different um, factions as well, including the Chaos Demons. So this is really great news. We've got a bit about the Chaos Gods here and the parts they play in the game. Another great paint guide. Now we're looking at the Scarab Swarms that we saw in the previous playthrough in issue 11. And as we've got these three paints now, we can really start adding some details to all the other miniatures. So it's great how it progresses and, you know, getting this four every month. You don't have to open them all at once. You could open one a week if you wanted to set a day back and really go through it using these guides if you want to do it in the traditional way. Then we've got another playthrough, Defending the Crypts. We're seeing quite a few more models now on the map. And so this is going to be getting a lot deeper into the rules. So these playthroughs get a little bit more complex now as we start to move through the issues. So can't wait to get these featured. And then on the back, we get the next two, which are the intercessors and this armored container, which looks awesome. And here we on to number 30 now, where we get five miniatures. We get our assault intercessor squad, some painting, 
and another fight phase. And now we're going to get some bases that are 32 mil. We're going to get five altogether. And here's the sprue. And so just to have a little focus on that so we can see some of the details. These are the push fit ones. So you're not going to be able to put them in whatever poses you want unless you do some modification. Um, so yeah, push fit, really easy to build though. And a great way to start building up some uh, fighters for your army. And so there we go. So one nice sprue. We are going to get another issue with another sprue later on as well to make this 10 altogether. But for 8.99, five of these is pretty good. And if you play kill team, this could be a good getting this as a back order from Forbidden Planet. And then we've got more details about all the weapons they use. We've got the battle record, which is great to name them all and really personalize your army. Again, lots more narrative and lore building up, how to build. So really simple. I mean, these are so easy to put together. Six or seven parts each push fit and doesn't take long at all. And then how to paint. So there we go. But yeah, I'm going to go for more like dry brushing, contrast paints and a bit more grim dark style with mine. So I won't be following this guide. I did think I would at first, but no, I, I like the grim look to them. So right now we're on to the next playthrough and look at all these data sheets now. Now we're really starting to get into it as our armies get bigger and we're using the bigger map that was supplied in one of the previous issues. So a lot more rules now. We're starting to see a lot more complexity to it. And so we're really layering up our knowledge. So this is really good. So that's the magazine. Can't wait for issue 15. We get the flayed ones. That's going to be awesome. But we also get this little pull out, which are, these are really nice. These pull out into like three sections. You get some great maps, some great images. And this is a really good one. So these all go in the folder in um, alphabetical order. And then you can read up and keep track of the law and everything. So we're starting to look at the other chapters now within the Space Marine. So if you wanted to do a different paint style on yours, you could. But just be aware you are going to get... Um, heroes and things like Rebuthe Gilliman later on so he wouldn't apply to the other factions. Now we're on to issue 14 and this is where we get our first terrain so really looking forward to this one this was a great issue and it tells us in this how to use the terrain so we get one big sprue and this is going to build those um, barrels we're going to get the crates and then we're going to get the one big container so really nice piece this for 8.99 i think if you were to buy the set it comes in it's you would pretty much get it for the same price maybe even a bit cheaper um, but nice to get it in the collection and now we've got the magazines let's have a flick through this and this tells us all about the container and all the different parts and the effects they'll have in the game a little bit of detail they've got storm bolters on the top which is nice and so it tells us the access panels, how they work and things like that. You can even keep a battle um, record just for fun. Give it a number. Let us know what's inside it. Things like that. And then how to build. This was really easy to put together. It recommends using elastic bands, which is nice, nice and solid. But I didn't. I didn't. It didn't need it really, to be fair. Um, but if you want to, you could follow that. So this was really easy to build and you can build it where you have the door open or close. I haven't attached the door, so it gives me an option of doing both because I want to use this in Weekend Warriors and actually get my models in there searching. Then we've got a nice paint guide. So this is using some dry brushing now. So we get to use that brush. We got an issue 11 and black, pretty dull color. I think we could liven that up a lot for sure. So I'll be doing some different colors for that. Then we get new rules we haven't seen yet. Terrain rules, how to move over them, how they, they kind of fit in with the game. We look at line of sight and cover. So that's really good. And then we get another playthrough that uses that piece of terrain on the board. So this is great. Again, this will be featured soon. So I'm going to start those. Once they start coming out, these um, little playthroughs will be coming thick and fast. And then on the back, we get the flayed ones and the, another set of assault intercessors in issue 16. So a nice mix here. We've got some good space marines. We've got that librarian and we've got the terrain. So I'm going to go away, get all this built, and then I'll take some photos and we can discuss it and you can see it all put together. And first up, we've got the librarian. I've always liked this model, always wanted it, but I didn't want to pay the full price for it as a single miniature. So really great that it's included in this magazine. But I think this is a fantastic model. So that's from issue 11 with a brush as well. And then we've also got the paints that came in issue 12. So three paints, you can never have too much Agrax Earthshade. Then we've got the Assault Intercessors, some great poses, even though you can't choose which poses to have. I think they've done a great job of posing these real action and they look great, really happy with these. And I think some of the details is brilliant. You've got the Sergeant guy here with the face looking awesome. And um, yeah, loads of character in these. I really like them. And it does tell you to keep the sprue because you can get some extra pieces on there that you're going to use in issue 16 to assemble your next five assault intercessors. So keep hold of that. 
And then the container, I think this is an awesome piece of terrain. Really looking forward to using this more in Weekend Warriors than in Warhammer 40k. I think it'd be great to search in. And also those crates, you could like put things underneath them and lift them up so you can hide things in there. These are sealed, so you can't really put anything in the barrels. But here we go, here's everything that came with those four issues. So a really nice haul this time. I was really happy and impressed. I think it's really interesting. And the collection's so much fun to get each month. I'm really enjoying it. And then because we signed up right at the beginning, those brushes were also included with this set of four. And so three nice brushes to add to the collection too. And here's all the Space Marines we've had since the beginning of the collection now, all put together. So it's really starting to look great. I've painted up this guy, the Lieutenant, in a kind of grimdark style. I messed up that cloak totally, so I'm going to go back and do that again. But the rest I'm pretty happy with. I think it's grungy enough to fit in with the style I'm looking for. I didn't want to go for bright gold and bright blue. So I think this is looks battle-worn, apart from that cloak bit at the front. That little... I uh, just ruined that. But I can do that again, so that's no problem. But then we got the Necrons as well, and they're starting to really shape up. We're getting lots of those. So next four issues are going to give us a really great looking um, psychic to add to those. So that's going to be really fun. Since the last video, I've been practicing the painting, but I've also got the folder all organized now. So I've used the dividers and the folder that came with the previous set. So everything's nice and tidy now. I've been studying these playthroughs and just going over them again. And then once I've got a good amount of these models finished painting, then we can start the playthroughs on the channel too. So looking forward to that. I also thought it would be fun to look at these going through the different units and learning about them and doing a video for each unit. As I learn it, I thought I'd share that. And I think that could make a fun set of videos too. So we'll be doing that really soon. So there we go. That's us right up to date now, up to issue 14. And I hope you enjoyed the video, getting a good sneak peek about what's included and what you can expect from the collection. Unfortunately in the UK the subscription is full up now, they're not taking any more, but you can order back orders from ForbiddenPlanet.com, I'll put a link down below for that. Good news for the US though, the subscription magazine comes out next year and you can sign up for it now, so that's great news and again I'll put a link for that in the description below where you can check it all out, see all the freebies you get and everything. But if you want to check out the video I've done on that that goes into really loads of detail about the whole collection, then that's up on the channel too, and I'll link to it at the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to keep up to date with the next videos here on Tabletop Skirmish Game. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description. It'll be great to see you there.